So in today's episode, we're going to take out this countertop and just move it over to this single cabinet right here. So stay tuned. So basically what we're going to do today is we're just going to take out this countertop, going to dismantle it, take it out from this double cabinet and just switch it over to a single. My friend wants a little bit more leg room and he wants it positioned there. So customer gets what customer wants. So with that being said, let's get started and start dismantling this piece. It's not flush, but this is where they want it. I know this, everybody has their own style. We're gonna mark it right here so we don't miss our mark. So looking underneath, looks like we have a little bit of caulking that we need to take out. And it is all the way around the perimeter of this thing. Like so, should be easy. Just gonna use a utility knife or you can just use a box knife and we'll start cutting this out right here. You wanna be careful when you're doing this. You don't wanna overcut it so that you end up damaging the bottom. Let me show you what's going on on the inside. It's just caulking on the outside. But if you look on the inside, I don't see any nails that are going through there. It looks like this is one solid piece. They didn't put any wooden base underneath. Looking at this material, it looks like it's quartz. Um, it doesn't matter whether you have solid quartz, marble, or granite. It's all gonna be the same process that we're gonna do today on how to install this. This might have a little bit of weight to it once we disconnect it from here. So definitely advise that you do a two person, but if you can't, I think this is small enough for us to actually take out. So yeah, by one person should be fine, but I'm gonna have my buddy help me out later on to take it off, just so we don't end up cracking it. Even though this is quartz, it's still fragile and we could end up cracking it. It's not solid. If it was solid, I'd be more comfortable doing it by myself because solids are more a little more plasticky and uh, more durable. But this one, there's a high chance of us end up cracking if we don't take good handling on whatnot, okay? Okay, we can go right under between the cabinet and the countertop. Just be very, very careful. Take your time. And you just have to run this a few times. Again, I highly advise you wear cut resistant gloves. If you're gonna reuse the cabinet, take your time. But if you're not, you're gonna actually empty this whole thing and just cut it up. Corners often get loaded with caulking and adhesives. Looks like they just put caulking around here and no adhesive. Makes their job a little bit faster. You can also use this 10 in one tool. Again, all the tools that I use in this video, I'll leave in the description down below if you wanna try them out. I also have this little mini pry bar as well. You know, get you up between there. These are perfect for corners, especially your knife blade or your little blade can't go all the way through there. This is a little assistant. There you go. And you don't wanna force things because there's a possibility that this thing will crack if you try forcing it up. You want to loosen as much of that adhesive as possible. Again, don't force it. So I got my buddy here. We're going to go and uh, lift this up. How much is this tea? Like he's saying that a few, uh, just a more. few more feet is how much? 3,500. 3,500. So yeah. So if he breaks it while handling, I'm, I'm not going to get blamed for it. <laughs> okay. So this is very heavy. Mm -hmm. Just be very careful. There we go. Man, this is like... It's <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we flipped it over. Now we're going to go and clean up the edges or clean up and take out all that caulking to prep it. If you use this tool right here, this is awesome. It's like a mini pry bar. You can just glide since this is um, quartz. It makes that nice sound when you, and it's since it's only just caulking, it doesn't, it's not fully stuck in there. Like if you were to use adhesive and it has that nice stone sound into it. They loaded this corner right here. So I'm gonna try to get some leg room. 
think standard is at 12 clearance, but I think we're gonna get about nine inch out of there so we can get some leg space. So we're just gonna dry fit it, see what it looks, looks like. We're gonna mark it with the pencil underneath. And yeah, it's all about personal preference now. <laughs> Ooh, for a small slab, it's, it's like 300 pounds. There we go. Line it up right there. My buddy's gonna think, see how. So he likes it. Now it's just a matter of just trying to make this all even all the way around. We want seven and a quarter here, seven and a quarter here. So we're gonna move this a little bit further. And then we want 10 and a half because we measured the length of this is 44 inches and the length of the cabinet is 23 and three quarters. So minus that divided in half, you get 10 and an eighth on each side. So we'll just mark it here in the corner so we don't lose that spot. So mark it right this in this corner. It might shift and you want to keep your base nice and planted since we're not going to be nailing this to the floor. So we got all the corners marked. Three should be fine. I didn't do that one back there. Alright, so we're going to move this here. We're going to be using this Loctite. Any construction adhesive actually works. Liquid nails, this. It's totally your choice. If you want one of this, I'll leave it in the description. Check it out. This actually works on wood. OSB, drywall, brick, concrete, masonry, so forth. And cure time is 24 hours on this one. So you don't want this adhesive all over your stuff. So good preparatory for this is you want to apply masking tape around here. It's okay if it gets sandwiched between the thing. You can just use your, your knife or your utility knife to cut it off. But you definitely, once you get this on the surface of your finished surface you don't want that because it's gonna it's gonna be hard to take out and just carefully so the trick in this one is that when you put masking tape, you have to take it off right away. Same rule when it goes to painting. After you mask, take it off right away because you don't want that stick in there. Take all this off. Is that what you want, bro? Yeah. That's it? Okay, so looking underneath, looks good. We don't have too much of a, it's a little bit of oozing coming out of there, but this one, little bit you can just wipe that should be easy overall it looks clean my buddy T um, after 24 hours this dries up he's gonna go around it with a bead of caulking and that should be it this might be a little heavy on the left side since this is a heavy piece don't worry my buddy's gonna put stuff in there heavy items like canned goods and whatnot but you're going from this two two drawer to a single so if you found this video helpful please hit that like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one